So Ryanair is an Irish low-cost airline founded in 1984 and has since become Europe's largest airline with a fleet of over 450 Boeing 737-800s, despite their fares sometimes being a quarter of the price of their competitors. Now in this video, we'll explore how Ryanair has managed to grow so fast and also discuss why they opted for the Boeing 737 and more. Now Ryanair's first route was a short flight between Waterford in Ireland and London Gatwick. Now the airline was called Danren Enterprises and they aimed to break the duopoly of airlines operating flights between the UK and Ireland which was then Aer Lingus and also British Airways. Now in 1986, a second route was added between Dublin and Luton. A major breakthrough for the airline was the deregulation passed by the EU which now allowed them to operate international inter-European Union services. For example, a French registered airline can now fly between Frankfurt and Rome so long as one of the governments gives them approval. By 1991, the airline was operating at a loss and it was in need of a restructuring. Michael O'Leary joined the business as a financial and a tax advisor and he was given the task of making the airline profitable. He said that the keys to profitability include low fares, high aircraft utilization and no frill routes. Now I'll come back to this later. So the airline went public in 1997 and as a result, Ryanair had a huge amount of money at their disposal in order to expand the airline into a European carrier operating flights between all major cities across Europe. Now in 1998, the airline placed a $2 billion order for 45 737-800 aircraft. Later in 2001, they ordered 155 more of the 737s from Boeing, what is commonly believed to have been a substantial bulk discount. From then it was a simple philosophy for the airline, open new routes, buy planes and take in money. Now the airline has grown incredibly fast, but what's the powerhouse for their fleet? Currently their fleet consists entirely of the 737-800s, with the exception of one 700 model which is used for charter flights and also training. They operate 449 of the 737-800s as of October 2018, with 9 yet to be delivered. They also have 135 737 MAX 8s on order, with delivery starting in 2019. Now by operating one model of an aircraft, Ryanair only needs to train maintenance staff and cabin crew on one aircraft. It's just cheaper for the airline to operate one model rather than buying different ones compared to other airlines. Now their whole business strategy depends on low frill service, quicker aircraft turnaround times and making the customer pay for everything and it literally works. Their profit margins have been much higher than traditional European airlines despite their average fare being around 46 euros in 2016. Now their aircraft have no reclining seats as that increases maintenance costs. Seat back pockets have been removed as they take time for flight attendants to clean between flights. And yes, the flight attendants actually clean the plane as well as run the check-in and boarding desks. This means that the airline requires less staff and all of the staff are being utilized correctly. Now there are some rumors that Ryanair even wanted to order aircraft without window shades. However, this is required by the Irish Aviation Authority, so they couldn't really escape this one. You'll also notice that Ryanair doesn't really have one main hub, with London Stansted as their main exception. Instead, the airline has lots of little hubs around Europe. They've adopted point-to-point -point flying rather than a hub-and-spoke model. Now, hub-and-spoke aviation is generally used by legacy carriers. For example, British Airways has a hub in London Heathrow. They take passengers from America and those passengers get onto connecting flights to smaller European cities at Heathrow. Instead, Ryanair just flies directly between two European cities. Demand doesn't really matter since people will always want to go there simply because it's cheap and it gets them there very fast. So all in all, it's clear that Ryanair is a formidable force in the European market and it'll be interesting to see how they continue to grow and compete with EasyJet and also whether they'll launch transatlantic flights. Now captains, if you enjoyed the video then be sure to subscribe, leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.